occasionally very, very good results. You know, we know from the clinical trial uh, that has put the, this chemotherapy on the map, uh, and that's the Dr. Vogelsang's trial. Uh, we know from that that, that the uh, combination of cisplatin and, and, and pemetrexid has a 44% response rate, which means that 44% of patients have more than a 50% reduction of the uh, size of their disease. Uh, and obviously if their disease is reduced, that, that profoundly improves their quality of life. And it also prolongs their survival uh, by a few months. So the, that is the average, and, and obviously the patient always get uh, this information about the average, the medium number, and they think, oh, if I get for that chemotherapy, I will gain only two or three months. But that is not true, beca because what that means is that it's in the median uh, ad survival advantage, and what they can g get is they can, they can be lucky and get a great advantage from the chemotherapy, or they are less lucky and, and get just a little advantage from the chemotherapy. But uh, I work in, in the area of peritoneal mesotheliomas now, and you know, often that chemotherapy can render a patient who was not a candidate for surgery, suddenly a candidate for cytoreductive surgery, uh, which we sometimes combine with the intraperitoneal uh, chemotherapy. And that can be a major advantage for the patient because it can give him some uh, many extra months and, and, and hopefully a year or more, or even years. So um, I, I think there are situations where the chemotherapy uh, can be uh, very beneficial. And, and you know, we always say in, in medical oncology, uh, the best way how to treat cancer-related symptoms is to treat the cancer. So if the patient has pain that's related to the cancer, uh, he's short of breath, he has some pleural effusions that have to be tapped all the time, uh, then uh, dealing with the cancer is in fact the best way how to deal with the cancer symptoms. And if we are lucky, and, and you know 44% of the patients are lucky, and, and more than that because there's more patients who get at least stable disease from the chemotherapy. So those patients are going to benefit in terms of symptom control. And th that is obviously something that we worry about a lot because we don't want to only make the patients live longer but we want uh, to improve their quality of life. The patients are very often afraid of chemotherapy uh, because of the bad name that it has, uh, the nausea, vomiting associated with chemotherapy. And that is often a matter of the past. You know, I, I started my career uh, in the Czech Republic, it's now 30 years ago, and patients who got chemotherapy, in particular cisplatin, and they would vomit for days. And it was really terrible. In fact, I have one patient who told me uh, I have to cross a bridge over the Moldau River before I get to my, uh, to my chemotherapy. And I, I always think it's better to, to jump down into that river. It might be a better solution than just continue and go and get that chemotherapy and then be sick. You know, so that is completely changed. We don't see any of that anymore. I walk into the treatment room these days and patients have lunch and breakfast and they eat and they smile. There's no vomiting, nothing like that going on. But unfortunately that bad name that the chemotherapy got 30 years ago is still stucking with, with that chemotherapy and the patients are still so worried about that. It has profoundly changed because we have very, very good medications. We have three or four medications that we learned to use in a way where we control the chemotherapy-induced nausea vomiting 99, 98, 99% of the patients. So it, it does not destroy the quality of life as it did in the past. It's obviously something that's not so easy for the patient. The patients are going to be happy when it's going to be over uh, after the four cycles or more. But uh, it's not something really dramatic. And in fact, the benefit of the chemotherapy in terms of that symptom control, I think in most case, cases outweighs the risks associated with the chemotherapy and the side effects of chemotherapy.